Hi there, YouTube. Price here. We're back over on stream and we're playing more WWE 2K23, my GM mode. If you want to know how to play this game, go watch my previous episode. Um, this is a series that is not popular on my channel at all. But you know what? I love playing some GM mode. So that's what we're doing. You can see I got a lot of files. Got a lot of files going. Um, this is our one from last time. And I'm going to delete this one. All right. Deleted. All right. Uh, man, that's an old wrestling meme. That's like a eight-year-old wrestling meme. Um, because we are going to start a new one because we're doing a specific challenge. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to skip Xavier. Um, I am going to be Tyler Breeze. We're going to be on NXT, which I think was the same as last time. Um, we're going to have two opponents. So we're going to do... Xavier on SmackDown, obviously, and let's do uh, Stephanie on Raw. I feel like this feels like a good setup. Um, let's start. We're going to do normal difficulty, normal difficulty. Let's make the budget a little bit higher. Straight order, shakeups on, um, auto draft, no. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. All right. We're going to play jobbers only mode. All right. WWE draft has begun. Who will be the first pick? Uh, so what I'm doing is all these people that I recruit right now can't use them. Can't touch them. I can't use any regular WWE wrestlers with one exception. Um, but instead, I'm going to be hiring all the local talent. So like medical bill. All right. Like, um, um, <laughs> Kyle Slickman, like uh, Tamara Tycross, Lula Tandy. All right. These are going to be our stars. You've never heard of them because they're not real. So let's go ahead. NXT is up with his first pick. So here's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm literally going to the bottom. We're buying the cheapest ones. Our, uh, our group ain't looking so great, and it's gonna look a lot worse. But there's only way I'm gonna the top, and that's from starting at the bottom. Okay, so that Hall of Fame stuff, that's our ticket to winning. All right, tonight is the night, the debut show. We have high hopes for you. Uh, I'll try not to let you down, Triple H, but it's gonna be a very different show than what you expect. He's expecting a lot of NXT this season. We're gonna make an, uh, an amazing show. Breeze wants to know how it's going. He's looking forward to what we're doing. He thinks that uh, with Finn, they're going to win. Can't, can't be wrong with that. Finn's pretty great. BDB. Uh, Breeze, I just want to let you know I'm planning on taking Raw to the top. Uh, I have the roster and the running capacities. You think you can contend when you got Asuka? Again, hard to argue with that. Okay, cool. So, I have to put my title on one of these people. Um, so... How am I going to get that on someone else, right? How am I going to be able to do title matches but not use any of these wrestlers? It's simple. I will be firing them all slowly over a period of time, and hopefully the belt will go into vacancy, and then I can have people challenge for it. So for now, we're putting it on Noam Dar, and then we're going to throw the uh, women's belt on Gigi Dolan, uh, or Dolan. I don't know how they pronounce it. I don't watch NXT in the modern day. Um, okay. Triple H is waiting to see how we show. Have at least one submission match this week. Now, let's go get our roster, y'all. <laughs> first things first. Uh, let us fire Noam Dow. Okay. It, okay, cool. Perfect. The belt did not immediately go on to someone else, so I should be able to challenge for it this week. We'll get rid of Gigi next week. We should have both of our belts ready to go. That'll be great. Both of our main belts. Okay, so... Here's where we get to pick from. Uh, Sally Steamroller all the way down to Jive Owens. Let's see what we got. So we got a face cruiser. Do we have a heel giant for the men's? No. So Kombucha is going to have to go up against a specialist if possible. Um, Maya T. Kirk. Do we have any fighters that are women? We do. Do we have a women's bruiser? We don't. Ooh, this is a bad set, so we're going to have a wonderful time. Let's grab Sally Steamroller, a giant. Oops. 
We definitely want a giant to go up against a cruiser. Was Sally face? I think Sally was face, which means we'll grab Queen uh, Quinn B um, as our heel uh, cruiser. We've got f like f four total uh, faces, and they're all dudes. So let's go ahead. We're going to get Higglesby. All right, Mr. Higglesby. Here he comes. Mr. Eaglesby is coming right there for that mid-card title, let me tell ya. Um, I don't know why I gave him that voice. So, he was a face bruiser, which means I want a heel fighter. Nicholas Mann seems to fit that bill, but not medical bill. Nicholas Mann, you're gonna go into that one. We're gonna grab Jive Owens. And we're gonna throw him up against Silence. Okay, sign this talent. Now, we got a specialist there. We got a cruiser there. We're going to grab Pretty Ruthless and Maya T. Kirk, and we're going to have one of them swap roles. Um, okay. And then we are also going to grab Dewey Carter. And from there, we're going to see. I can grab the rest of them if we need to. Because obviously I still have a ton of money. Look, we still have. Oh, you can't see it here. I'll, I'll, I'll swap my swap my position here. Got our stuff. Let's go book a show. Okay. In the main event, we got to do a men's title match. And I would love for it to be a triple threat if possible. So we're going to throw in. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw in Nicholas Mann. We're going to make this a, let's make it a triple threat. Okay, normal. So, Nicholas Mann is a heel. We've got Mr. Higglesby as a, a face bruiser. And then we want another face. What I've heard is that in triple threats and uh, fatal four ways, you want uh, more faces than heels. So I want to make sure that who I put in next is a face. So either it's Jive Owens or it's Dewey Carter. We're throwing in Dewey Carter because he's a different um, class. So that helps us have a class bonus. We have two faces, which should give us that bonus. We're going to make this a title match. And how are their stamina? 61, 66, 70. Let's make it a triple threat tables match. Okay. For the men's title. Women's match at the start. Who are our most popular women's wrestlers? Oh, boom. Quinn B. And, uh, who was her name? Sally Steamroller. We don't have a title for them, but let's throw them in that submission match that Trips wants. Um, and let me see. What am I going to get for that? Oh, absolutely. That's a great one for us. Um, that card, the, uh, Superstar training card, we can take one of our local talent, which we have a ton of, and make them permanent um, superstars. Plus, I think it gives them a little boost in certain things, so uh, it's worth it, generally. Okay. They're going to have a nice match. Uh, let's work on our one of our tag teams, if we can. Do I have enough wrestlers for a tag team? Nope. Um, so, let's do a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to have to get some more wrestlers. We're going to do you and Silence for the men's North American championship and women who we got left. I need you to change. So do we have anyone else that I can bring in? Uh, okay. Kombucha is a face. But there's literally no one else I can grab. All right. I'm going to have to change this, I think. So we're going to make this just a singles match. One-on-one. -on -one. Tables. Title. Go. Because then I can do... We've got Dewey Carter. And then I can grab... Wait, no. Dewey's a face. Hold on. My brain is breaking right now. I just, there's so few that I can make this work with. Because, right, there's only one men's wrestler left, right? And he's a face. 
They just didn't give me enough stuff to, to do this. So we're gonna just have to have a bad match in the middle. We're gonna grab Donna Matrix, great name. We are going to throw Dewey back into this match. Do, 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 do. We will get more wrestlers later um, next week. So we're just going to do a, a heel versus heel, which sucks. This will get a very poor rating. And tr uh, what's his name? Triple H is going to be like, what the heck are you doing? Why would you do that match? Um, and, and that's that. So we're going to do a run in on Pretty Ruthless, hoping that this will at least start a rivalry between Donna Mage or between uh, 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 Maya T. Kirk and Pretty Ruthless. And then that way um, we can get that forward. And then next week I'll turn one of them face. OK, confirmed. Uh, then who else do we have left? Anyone? No one. No one left for promos. I could sign Kombucha or Danielle Wallace. Um, I mean, considering, you know what? We're going to grab them all. A, it's not that expensive. B, clearly we don't have enough wrestlers. I'm going to need more once I start getting into tag matches. So let's just, let's bolster the roster. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. Okay. So real steel. A randomly booked cage match on our show will receive a higher than normal rating. Absolutely. Best friends forever. Select an opposing brand. Reduce two of their rivalries by one level. That's pretty neat. Let me see what our season goals are, though, because this is how we're going to win, because we ain't winning by fans, at least not for a while. So complete five challenges. That's how we get a trophy. Trophies are what are going to give you essentially a point towards victory. Having uh, highest fans will give you a point, but getting a trophy gives you a point. So it's like the getting more trophies ends up being more valuable. So book eight shows with a self promo. So I need to do some self promos. Spend 700,000 or more on shows. So I think that's just over time. Make three superstars very happy. Working on it. Do five backstage brawls. Working on it. Complete 12 commissioner goals. Working on it. Res uh, resolve three rivalries during a PLE. Definitely gonna happen. That's a pay-per-view. Premium live event. Um, book eight shows with an advertisement. We'll do that. And 25 matches that receive at least three stars. We'll get there eventually. Okay. So in terms of power cards, I don't think I need either of those. Um, if people mess with us, oh no. They're, it's not going to have much of an effect when you're already at the bottom, right? All right. Let's do a self promo on Kabucha. And let's do... Let's do a roll change on Danielle Wallace. And then she can go up against Donna Matrix. And then we've got Pretty Ruthless and Maya T. Kirk. Uh, okay. That's all I've got. Those are all the wrestlers I've got. The show is set up. We got matches ready to go. Bought in the power cards. We're good to go. Here we go, y'all. First match or first show. It's going to be a rough one. All right. Let's see what you got. Sally Steamroller versus Quinn B. This should be a good one. It's, I mean, you know, as good as it can be. Mediocre. All right. Honestly, two stars. That's a high for us right now. <laughs> Kombucha. Well, he didn't go down in popularity. Title match. Here we go. Oh, this is actually going to get a high rating. Shoot. Never mind. We're good. Silence with the one and a half stars. Swapped on over. Pretty ruthless. Awful. That's because we had a run in. Come on. Come on. Higglesby. Oh, uh, Dewey Carter. Wasn't expecting it. All right. Well, we had a good arc, y'all. We had a good arc. So this next episode. Oh, let, let's. We're going to skip through these. We don't need to know. A draw. This. Unheard of. Draws, y'all. It's bonkers. I say unheard of. It actually happens somewhat frequently in, in 2K23, it seems. Okay, so comparatively, we didn't do that poorly compared to like SmackDown. You know, they picked it up in the end, but you know. Oh, hi, Alex No Shepherd. How are you? All right, let me read over there what we got. Sally Steamroller is a natural at submission matches. Good to know. 
Sad to be leaving NXT. Yeah, goodbye, Noem Dar. Uh, NXT fired Noem Dar. Bring out the big guns tonight. <laughs> Joking. Um, let's see. Silence beats Jive Owens. Silence wins the championship. Okay. Looks like people are mostly good. We actually gained a little bit of money. Gained a few fans. Not as many as everyone else, I'm sure. Yeah, they gained 63 or 36k, so we're a little behind them. And they gained 46, so we're 20 behind them. But it's fine. Superstar training, great card to get. Basically, we'll use that on one of our superstars who we're not putting into a rivalry. And then that's that. Okay, week two, we're going to have ourselves um, a whole bunch more people to pick from. So it's going to give us a better idea of you know where we're headed. All right, Donna versus Petty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I told y'all he's going to get mad at me for putting two heels in there. Guess what, Triple H? Guess what? You didn't accept enough contracts into the free agent pool for me to be able to do that appropriately, okay? All right? Sure, I'm ostracizing about three quarters of the roster that's available to me by only picking local talent, but guess what? You could still make them available. All right. Loser Maya attacked me during the last fight. Oh, yeah. We're going to get you a match within the next three, uh, three weeks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, hi, resist. All right. Priest Ruth is getting that. And sure, Roxanne Perez cuts a promo. Well, that's not going to happen. Because Roxanne's going to get fired soon. Um, okay. But not today. Because Gigi's getting fired today. Bye, Gigi. Thanks for the title. Um, oh, so earlier. By the way, I mentioned at the beginning, and I didn't say what I meant, that um, I'm not using uh, regular WWE wrestlers, except for one exception. The exception is if they defect to my brand. So if they get into my emails like, look, I'm not happy at SmackDown, I want to come over to your place, then I'm, I'm accepting to take them. The reason is because that's how it works in real life, okay? Some of y'all know. I go to wrestling shows all the time, and um, at those wrestling shows, you constantly have people coming through who are huge, majorly popular, world-renowned wrestlers, and they come through the indies because that's what they do when they're no longer on the big shows. They go bounce around all the smaller shows. So I can bring them on if they come to me. I can't reach out to them. All the firings resist. Every week, someone's getting fired. Okay, so. <laughs> we got ourselves a whole set. Look at Braden the Dark, y'all. Braden the Dark. I mean. Future Hall of Famer medical bill. Gotta bring him in. No question. Uh, so medical bill is a, oh, and I love Sammy Vortex. Sammy Vortex is so cool. Argus the Great can go up against our champion, right? Let's do it. Medical bill is always an expensive fight. <laughs> so we got a lot of men's wrestlers this time. Last time we got a lot of women's wrestlers. Okay, we got a face bruiser. I think we probably need her. Sammy Vortex is a heel giant, but I do think we have... Uh, someone who can take you on, right? Danielle Wallace. Okay, so let's grab her, Sammy Vortex. I'm looking for anyone who's permanent. Could also be a good shot. Kyle Slickman, Heath Manhattan. Medical Pete just doesn't hit as hard. <laughs> You can never hire anyone you'd feel too bad, or fire anyone you feel too bad. Sammy Vortex, that's just vacant. You can't fool me. <laughs> Classic world champion, vacant. All right, let's grab... Do I have a, a heel male bruiser that's looking for a fight or a specialist? Silence has one going. We got Higglesby who I wanted to put up against Nicholas Mann. So Medical Bill then is a heel. What was I looking for? Okay, we got Face Fighter I can grab. Heel Fighter can go with Gunther McGurder. Oh, but Adrian Buck. 
actually has an okay popularity. But you know what? No, we're grabbing Heath Manhattan. Okay. I feel like Heath can be in a really neat tag team. All right. I feel like it can be a really neat tag team. Let's then grab. Oh, dude. Gunther McGurder and Heath Manhattan. These two are the most New York. All right. We got to come up with a name for these guys that is the most New York. Uh, okay. Unless we just call them that. TMNY. Um, okay. I'm grabbing Kyle. Okay. It's a good set. I could also grab Dante Roberts and Red Monsoon. I could hire everyone, right? It's Gunta. <laughs> Indeed, Brambeard. Gunta McGurder. Did y'all see that Gunta got married? It was adorable. Hmm. Wolf, uh, uh, Heath Manhattan has to have Deuce and Domino's theme? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Dewey Carter, putting the title on the line against newcomer August the Great. We're going to throw this one into a steel cage match because I really want them to get a rivalry. Steel cage match gives a greater likelihood of a rivalry. For those of y'all who don't know, who haven't gone back and watched my old video that tells you everything about how to play this game, go watch my first one. If you want to know that, I'll probably put it up in a thing up there. But... Um, Basically, uh, we want uh, different people of different classes to go up against each other. Um, we want the match types that will help improve what is a rivalry. And so a rivalry is going to make it so each match that those people have is a better, more exciting match. You can get up to a rival level four. Um, and uh, if you're at three or four at a pay-per-view, you finish that rivalry. And that whole pathway is the best pathway to gaining high quality matches and uh, gaining the most fans, money, etc. Okay, so steel cage match between these two. I want a rivalry. Let's go. Look, dude, Dewey Carter is at 51 popularity. There are likely uh, IRL wrestlers on my roster who now have less popularity than Dewey Carter. Actually, I know that for a fact because he's the most popular wrestler I have right now. Okay, women's title now. Let's do... I kind of want to do Sammy Vortex versus like Danielle Wallace, but that's such a low end match right now. We're going to do Quinn B versus Sally Steamroller still. We're going to throw that the women's title on, on the line there. We are also going to let's look at our tag team situation. We want to do TMNY. Um, it's very TMDK, so it's not wrestling related. <laughs> Jenny Vortex's move is uh, you spin me around. I mean, I don't know. Did you see Vicky Vortex? I mean, they, they, they've got some fear in their eyes, uh, as in they cause fear. Okay, so then we're going up against a fighter and a bruiser as well, right? I guess we could throw a medical bill in there. Yeah, let's throw Slickman and Bill. Got to come up with a name for, for Slick Bill and for TMNY. All right, y'all? We need that. We need that. Wrestling's not a big thing there in Brazil. Um, fair. Fair. Honestly, not a big thing here either. <laughs> uh, it's just within a very... Ooh, the Broadway Bruisers, Benny. That's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah, it's not the Brooklyn Brawlers, it's the Broadway Bruisers. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. Women's tag now. Do we have enough to make that happen? And then we'll mess around with different uh, types as we go forward. Okay. Vortex and Donna Matrix. This looks like a great one, too. This one looks like a great one, too. The insurance claim. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, okay, okay. So, Donna and Sammy, they actually look like they could be a tag team. Um, and they'll go up against Wall. Oh! I need to get another women's wrestler face to do that. So, we're gonna grab Clubarella. All right, let's go! Medical boo. All right. Tagging it. Normal. We're throwing in Danielle Wallace. 
and a Clubberella versus Vortex and Donna. Nice. Oops. Okay. It's a night of champions, y'all. Uh, let us then, we're going to do some self promos. We know we need that. Self promo from Silence. Let's uh, do a call out. Jive Owens on Silence. And then let's do a call out from Higglesby. Oh, wait, no, I need to do a, a role change. Let's do a role change of Maya. And we're going to do, instead of that call out, we're going to do a call out from Pretty Ruthless on Maya. So, actually, we'll do it in different order. Do it in different order. Because I don't know if it matters. But this way, it's technically more correct because Maya will now be a face and now gets called out by a heel. Okay. So, now... Uh, or T-Kirk. Um, so now... Uh, we got a good show. I would like if I could get... The only downside right now is that we have um, a few extra wrestlers, right? But these guys are all in matches. It doesn't tell me who's in matches right now. Okay, power cards. Oh, we want all these. Or, no, no, we want these two. Uh, let me see with Superstar Training. Okay, these are the only two that I have that are available. Let's get Jive Owens permanent. So... We're sending Jive Owens away. He's going to be away for like two weeks. So he's probably not making it on to the next, uh, not getting a uh, big rivalry for the next show. But if I can get enough of these cards, which I have a ton of money, I can force essentially the matches to be great. I can also use the fighting championship or fighting champion thing at the pay-per-view and guarantee like four out of five of my matches are going to be great. Um, and if I'm low on stamina, I use quick recovery. So we've got a good... Uh, spot. Jive Owens. Yeah, it's a choice. It's a choice, Wolf. It's a choice. Um, do, 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 do. I'll just say I hope it was a non-white person that came up with that name. Um, do, do, do. Okay. Empirical nonsense? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. We've checked our cards. We've uh, booked our show. Do we have special match types? We do not. That's a steel cage. Let's make this one a tables match. What did you want? Roxanne Perez. Yeah, that's not going to happen. By the way, you can only fire one person a week. That's why I haven't just fired everyone. Um, okay. We're cool. Let's do it. See how it goes. All right, Quinn B versus Sally Steamroller. Quinn B getting the win, getting the title. Ooh, and we've got ourselves a rivalry. Nice. Oh, come on. Be nice to Silence. Um, I can't resist. I'm not allowed to do massive layoffs. I have to like actually finish out people's contracts and you know, be um, um what's the word? Ethical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Everybody loves TMNY. Come on. That's it. They're going heel. <laughs> all right. Who we got here? I want Sammy and Donna. Ah, oh, that's all right. That's all right. Oof. Dull match. That should have been okay, I think. Well, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Here we go. This is the this is the one that we want to like be the main event. All right, at the at the pay per view at the PLE. Ooh, August the Great coming in with the title win, level two rivalry. You think you're as great, but now uh, August is here. He's here. All right. Anyway, let's, let's knock through these ones. 
Okay, where are we at? I mean, look at that. Look at that. Already not that bad compared to the other shows, right? And if we continue to build these stars, you will see. They're going through the roof to the moon, as one might say. Okay. Didn't make a lot of money, but didn't lose money. Um, that doesn't take into account the cards that you buy, by the way. So I still did lose money. I lost like 100k. But as far as the show is concerned, I made the money back that I spent on the show. Um, let's see. Sammy Vortex and Donna Matrix were no match for Danielle and Clubberella. Oh, they DQ'd. So then the titles might, have, might not have changed. Donna Matrix and Sammy Vortex work really well together. Hey, that's good to know. Uh, Danielle and Clubberella worked okay as a tag team, I guess. All right. Good to know. Um... Maya was called out by Pretty Ruthless tonight. Here we go. Argus the Great. All right, looking good. So 31K versus 41K versus 45K. That's all right. They lost money. They're low on money. I should try and get a double cost card and try and bankrupt one of them. <laughs> but we're not that far behind, right? So Stephanie McMahon is like 50K ahead of us. We could, we could break that in one good pay-per-view. Okay. I just need rivalries. Now that Dewey has a stamina below 40, he's vulnerable. Yep. So we're going to leave Dewey out of matches. We're going to have him do some call outs and stuff. Um, superstars who are completely rested will recover 12 a week. If you've got a promo, it'll be six. Um, so injuries are something to look out for. Um, we're going to do our best to be fine with that. While it's cheating me in the match, I want a rematch. Oh, don't you worry about it, Sammy. You're getting those matches. You're getting those matches. Okay. Now there is someone that I need to do. All right, Ruthless needs a grudge match against T. Kirk. Um, the rest of this is just about contracts. And Sammy wants to re uh, rematch against Daniel Wallace, but that can also be in a tag match, which is what we're trying to do with them. Do not book your most popular fighter this week. Well, guess what? I can't. <laughs> I can't do it because he's hurt. Um, but I also can't, um, you know, wait. Manage roster. Oh, it's Quinn B, actually. So here's the thing, I can't put them even in a promo. So the thing that sucks about that is that they will lose popularity over the course of the, the next two shows. But I need Quinn and Dewey to both regain some energy because they're both below. So I might have to leave them both out, which means Sa uh, Sally and Argus are going to do some call outs. Um, so let's start there. Do a call out there. Doing a call out there. I don't know if order of these things matter, to be honest, of the promos, but uh, I'm gonna treat them like they do. Okay, so that covers that. These two are not booked, so we should still be getting this. What are we gonna get for it? Eh, coast to coast doesn't matter that much, but we do need to complete as many of these commissioner goals as we can to win the uh, trophy that we are gonna get. Okay, so with those two out of the way, who do we have next up? We could throw a silence up against a face fighter. Who did we have? Wait. No. Who was our... Did I not have a face fighter to put up against him? Was that an issue I ran into? Or I just goofed it? I might have goofed it. All right, manage roster. Oh, first things first. Let's fire somebody. Um, sorry, Indy Hartwell, released. Indy's great. And also gone. Um, ooh. I saw something that I like. And I saw another thing I like. And also another thing I like. Okay, cool. Um. I need a face fighter if I can grab one. Oh, Nova Northern Light, I love her. Ooh, and Adrian Buck. Cool, 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 cool. Do you love how I am actually a fan of some of these wrestlers at this point? I have played enough of this to be like, ooh, Tamara Tigross, you know? Um, okay, we're going to grab Adrian. We're waiting to bring in uh, Braden the Dark, okay? We'll bring him in another time. Um, now, with that out of the way, do I want to bring in Nova? Nova's real good um there are a handful of these wrestlers who like 
they've got like better mic skill or whatever. It just they kind of they get a little bit of a leg ahead. Um, well, that's fine. So, book show. Let's throw silence, silence up against Adrian Buck for the title. We're going into the pay per view. How are y'all stamina's doing? They're doing great, which means you're getting thrown into a steel cage. Really hoping to get that um, rivalry going. We also want to do both of our tag matches if we can. Um, again, to try and build rivalries. Now, who do we want to put them up against? It was Bill and Bill and Slickman. That's right. Title match. Stamina's are all really good. So why don't we do another? The steel cage match. <laughs> oh, oh, and put the title on the line, of course. Um. So then, let's also do the women's, right? Right, there's no belt, you see? No one got a belt for the women's tag because there was a um, an interference. So, so they said that Sammy and Donna do work well together. Um, you know, maybe we look and see if there's someone else because it said that uh, it was like pretty ruthless. Who else did I throw in the match? No, it wasn't pretty ruthless. It was Clubberella and Danielle Wallace. It said they were eh. Right? So let's then go ahead and see if we can find someone to pair up with either of them. It should probably be a cruiser. So Danielle Wallace we can stay with. Let's see who can go with Danielle Wallace other than Clubberella. Because if we can get another cruiser, that'd be great because Sammy is a giant. So that'll help with that. Um, it's kind of the only thing I can do. But we know that they work together well as a tag team, which is great. So we do want them in our um, uh, uh, spot, right? Yeah. Um, wait, I always click the wrong thing. Sign free agents. So Cindy Fluff is a good one and a specialist. So broadly used Ella Rubau as well. Ooh, I had talked about wanting to get Nova Northern Light I had talked about wanting to get Nova Northern Light, so we're going to do that. Um, yeah. So, bringing in a new wrestler, new, 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 new world order. Okay, and then we got Nova and Danielle. Title match. Good. Let's. Really quick, did I fire anybody? I think I fired Indy Hartwell, but I just want to make sure. Cannot release more than one superstar. Okay, cool. Um. Oh, who did she want to rematch against? Daniel Wallace. Okay, she's getting that. Gonna buy the new logistics so we can get the bigger arena. Um, cancel. Can't buy any more of those. I think we gotta wait until the pay-per-view for that. Power cards, we got them all. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, we need one more match and one more mid card. Okay, so steel cage, normal steel cage. Um, is there a singles feud that would be good? I mean, we can do a triple threat. Yeah, my only downside here is with the triple threat we don't have a good spread of wrestlers there here we do so we're gonna do a triple threat with those three do 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 so uh kombucha no wait it should start with the ones that i would want to put in a feud so higglesby with man with kombucha so the, uh, the way i understand it these first two are the most likely to get a feud and if you have a four-way i think it's these two and then the other two are most likely to get a feud um <laughs> brand beard tie dye that's good that is good my goodness 
It's weird seeing the actual roster in the hiring section. We want local talent. Like, they almost look more fake than the local wrestlers, right? It's weird. It's weird. Okay, so these guys are doing a triple threat. Uh, their stamina's are all right, so let's go ahead. Let's do a DLC. Why not? What was my goal? Do not book your list popular. That's right. So then, let's do a call out from Pretty Ruthless to Maya T. Kirk. And power cards wise, I do have a health spa. So we are... Something's happening outside. We're going to use that on Dewey. That'll give him a little more stamina for next week. Um, and yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Conframe. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. So far, okay. Whoa, are they good together? Tell me they're good together. Hey, it increased. That's it. Higglesby and man did start a rivalry. That's what I was trying to do. Cool. Kombucha getting a win. Love to see it. Ooh, Argus and Dewey at the level three, which means it's going to blow off at the pay-per-view, which means this is definitely my main event. Okay. Adrian Buck and Silence. Okay, okay. Give me a... Yeah, level two rivalry. All right. That's what we want to see, brother. Okay. Okay. Oops. Finn Balor's the WWE champion over on SmackDown. Love Finn. Finn's great. To the moon, y'all. Okay. This week, not as good, but we're building. Building. Lost money on that one. That's okay. It's because I bought the big arena. Uh, uh, let's see what we got. Again, we're falling behind, but it's fine. I promise you. Uh, okay. One one fifty eight one eight. Okay, again, we're not that far away. You know, we're not that far away. <gasps> Who's he stealing? <gasps> no! What? No! Medical Bill! Medical Bill is like one of my worst wrestlers! Why? We wanted to make something of him. You used your code on that? <laughs> Dang it! My plans! All of my plans, Xavier! Goodness. Sure, Grayson. You're getting fired. <laughs> I can't believe it. He took medical flipping bill. Why? Ugh. Y'all, I did my best. All right. I wanted to send him to the moon. <sighs> You're welcome, Sammy. That's, I mean, that just. Ugh. Do not book your most popular specials this week. Pretty Ruthless needs a grudge match this week. Christian says medical bill could have been something great with his medical degree and lack of wrestling skills. Right? He would have been wonderful. We could we could have put him in like some kind of tag team with somebody and called him like uh, first aid. You know, wouldn't that have been good? Um, okay. So, we want, we need our match between, uh, these two. They are at an all right amount of stamina. We're going to throw them into an extreme rules match. Yes. Can you switch there? Thank you. All right. They don't want me to use my most popular specialist. We're at 49 and 54. We're at 47 and 68. Let's do them. Um, just a title match should leave us in a good position for next week. Next week is the pay-per-view. 
We are, I'm legitimately putting uh, critical condition, Ms. Blue. Why are all of the good names involving medical bill who has been stolen from us? <sighs> let's go by stamina. Oh, who's getting fired today? Let's, let's fire somebody today. It'll make me feel better. <laughs> I kid, I kid. It's messed up. <laughs> Goodbye, Mansoor. Dude, go, go just smack down. Go have fun over there. He could have been a contender, Benny. He could have been a contender. He could have been a Nintendo. Um, how are y'all looking? Eh, I don't want to knock out Buck. Let's go with... Let's look, what are, what are they looking like? This tag with their, uh, staminas. Cause if they're good, oh yeah, they're good. So let's even throw them into a tables. Just get a little bit of extra oomph on there. Um, these two actually, you know what? They can put on a barn burner, I bet you. We're going to throw them into a steel cage match. They've got a good amount of stamina left, so they should be fine. And so a little more stamina. Who's good? Oh, look. Medical Bill is here for one final week. Like, come on, man. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. So there goes that uh, rivalry, which was at level two, but that's fine. Um, Dewey and Argus, stamina wise. I would like for them to rest, to have a big show next, next show. So let's do, Let's do like a random triple threat or fatal four way with our um, sort of our, our men's wrestlers who are doing nothing right now. Um, so Nicholas Mann and Higglesby and let's grab kombucha and then let's just, you know, you know what? We're sending medical bill out into the world in a final match. Okay. Because we have respect here. We have respect at NXT. We don't go and steal one of your best rising stars off of your roster right before a pay-per-view. Okay? We don't do that here. We don't do that here because you know what we have? Ethics. We talked about it earlier. These people. Absolutely messed up. Uh, okay, these guys are in a tag rivalry, which you can't... What sucks is you can't call out a tag rivalry. So it's like... I can't force that one. Uh, we'll have these two. They're both calling each other out so that we may end up with a level uh, four there, which would be great. We're also going to have Dewey call out Argus. And I always do the most expensive thing. We are going to actually get the, the bonus here, which is nice. So all of my superstars with less than or equal to two star power gain a popularity. Uh, guess what? Guess what? I'm going to let you know something. We got, like, a handful of people with two stars, right? But it's greater than or equal to. Every single one of my wrestlers on this show is getting a boost. Uh, so that's great. So, Hell Spa, wonderful. Tornado Alley, absolutely wonderful. Pre-match Physio, don't mind if I do. Okay. Okay. Let's, um... Wait, did I? Who's my most popular specialist? Who's a specialist that's even out here? It can't be Medical Bill. No, it's Donna. It's Donna. It's gotta be. Medical Bill is the same as Donna. If I get rid of Bill, let's just throw anyone in there. That sucks because two of my wrestlers are my most popular specialists. So I'd have to get rid of both of these matches. What would I get for this? 
Okay, that's fine. If it was like a special promotion or something, I'd make it work. Uh, okay, those are good. Cards are bought. Don't need to use any cards. Our show is booked. Uh, normal, normal table, steel cage. I think this will end up great, and I think we'll have a good setup for our PLE. Let us go. Grow, my minions, grow! Nice. Hot potato, hot potato. Let's throw that belt back and forth. You love to see it. Level four rivalry with those two. It's going to be a fantabulous match. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Good. I was like, Medical Bill better not win on his way out the door. <laughs> nice. Adrian Buck with the three promo skill. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I like him and like Nova Northern Light and stuff. They have higher. There's another one called, like, her name's Cora Cut. Um, they just, they're, they're like right on that edge of like, they're close to the lower end WWE wrestlers. All right. What do we got here? Okay, okay. Got a call out going. Pretty Ruthless versus Maya T. Kirk. In the main event, Steel Cage. Ooh, grudge match was won. Only mediocre. It's fine. We'll make it into something great. Don't you worry. Don't y'all worry, okay? We are going to force this next show to be great. I would call that honestly not that bad. Poor finale, sure, but not that bad as we're trying to catch up to the the, the places that have Brock Lesnar and Finn Balor and stuff, you know? Takes a little bit to knock them off the top. All right, our poor curve is why we did worse that week than before. Um, had a few good ones for TMNY. Yep, yep, you could have been a contender. Uh, okay, so then we're going to have to figure out somebody to go up against them as well, yeah. All right, it's Extreme Rules. Thanks for the draft, Rookie. I'll be sure to treat uh, Bill real good. Maybe if you treated your, them better, they wouldn't be so eager to come over. He wasn't eager. You stole him with magic. Okay, contract is up. Yes, we will be bringing everyone back. Sounds good. I'm not even looking at what they cost. Here's So this is one of the benefits of using local talent is they're pretty cheap early on. They will get more expensive based on their experience. So it's unlike the previous game. In WWE 2K22, you could do this challenge and they would stay the same cost the entire time. With this one, because they have seasons that carry forward, um, you will uh, uh, grow these characters and eventually they're going to cost just as much as regular wrestlers. So um, by the end, we might not have any local talent to pick from because they'll all be real wrestlers. Uh, it'll be bonkers. That's when we start pulling from real WWE wrestlers who have gone down the toilet. It's gonna be gonna be weird. All right, contract is coming up. Don't you worry. You're sticking around. I'll pay you what you what you're worth. Do do. Benny, I really hope they fire Bill right away. Come on, y'all are all happy here, right? I give you all kinds of attention and matches. You get everything here, right? Let's go. You always have to be really careful. Do not spam through here. Uh, you will accidentally fire them because for some reason, the top choice is to fire them. That bothers me. It's way too easy to accidentally do that. Like there should be a confirmation if you're going to go fire someone. should be like, are you sure you want to fire them? Do do do. Like all of this should be like a prompt that comes up. Um... No chance, if that's what you got. Yeah, get out of here. Come on, leave. Feel like I'm the fall guy every moment. I want to win. Okay, we'll exit and continue booking. Okay. We got extreme rules that we got to unlock, but that gives us the show bonus. We can get some booking crew. Just unlocking all of our logistics. You know how it goes. These are all basic. All right. How long until they fire Bill? Uh, fire button front and center, Benny? Yeah, I know, right? Okay, uh, who we got in the free agency to replace Bill? I mean, no one's going to be good enough. Ooh, but Flint McStones. I mean, it feels necessary to get Flint McStones. <laughs> oh man is that a helmet from valheim Jeez, louise 
Okay. Fleet McStones versus Rangwald. Uh, too bad they're both bruisers. Okay. We're going to stick with him for now. Giant-wise, I should probably grab Starla. There's a lot of cruisers and very few giants. So we're going to grab Sensational Starla. I may grab Red Monsoon as well. We're going we're gonna to wait a second before we do that. Oh, and what are my power cards looking like? Multiply their special effects cost. Nice. Ooh, Beginner's Luck is good. Just boost the popularity of my lowest popularity star. Okay, we're going to buy this. All right. I've now spent about a half a million dollars on cards and things. Um, let's go. All right. Main event. It's got to be them because of the level four rivalry. We're going to do these two here. We're going to do those two there. Make sure the titles match is on. We're going to do a tag team. Versus y'all for the title. And then who else have we got with a... Okay, y'all have a level four, so we need to knock that out as well. Uh, okay. Four out of five of these are championship matches. And one of them is a level four rivalry. We are going to turn this one into a... An Extreme Rules match. That is the pay-per-view for today. Um, and what we're going to do... I'm going to use my Fighting Champion card. The reason for this is twofold. One, this will boost all the matches except for the one Extreme Rules match, but I've already got that one set up as well as it can be, right? Um, two, I get to save all these other ones for the future, which is kind of like... A really big deal. Now, who am I not using that it feels like I need to be? Well, first and foremost, our women's tag champs still don't exist, right? Right? Or excuse me, our men's tag champs. Because... Or the rivalry, rather. Because... Now I'm asking myself if I want to somehow squeeze this match in there. I don't want to keep the level four of Maya uh, going. Maya and Ruthless. Because um, it'll get stale. So we're going to go with this. So then let's do some, like, maybe we're going to do, like, we'll do a self-promo from Heath Manhattan. I wish you could bring out tag teams. I think that'd be great. You know, maybe Heath's going to try and get himself into the old main event, right? Nicholas Mann's calling out Higglesby. We all know Higglesby ain't ready for that. Um, oh my gosh, Flint McStones and Clubberella. Now there, there is a pair, let me tell you. Um, let's have Clubber Clubberella's got a level three um, promo skill. Let's throw her up there. And then let's grab. Let's have stones call out Owens. No, he'll call out Adrian Buck because Buck will be done at this point, right? This match will be over. This uh, rivalry will be over. Right? Uh, oh, I wonder if I should swap this with the women's one. No, because they're so much more popular, these ones. Um, okay. So hopefully what will happen is that rivalry will end, and then this will start the next rivalry. So if Adrian Buck wins the belt and then gets challenged immediately here, awesome. We've got our North American Championship feud. Either way, we hope to have this be our next feud. Buck versus Flint McStones. Awesome. We could throw Buck and Carter into a tag team. We can throw Stones and Argus into a tag team. Um, I think those are, those are some good combos. Okay, now. I need to use my card. Banana. 
And I could force that one match to be a better match by doing, you know, this kind of stuff, but we're not gonna. I will use, however. Oh, she's already permanent. That's right. So we're gonna save that. Yeah. Cancel. Uh, and then let me look over the match again. I think we're good. I should, oh, I should add some like fanciness in the matches. Um, let's make this one a submission match. Gives us extra fans for um, finishing off the rivalry. Yep, let's do that. Let's throw a. Quimby might get hurt in this match, but. Ooh, actually. No, because we don't. Hold on, let me think. I could end this rivalry right now with a submission match. Nah, we'll push it to the next pay-per-view. Okay. One-on-one -on -one normal. Submission, extreme rules, normal. We're gonna throw this one in a steel cage. So we got, that's two steel cage matches. I want this one to be steel cage because then maybe it'll start a thing. Um, this one I wanted to increase the rivalry, but it's more important to try and increase tag rivalries because tag rivalries, you can't do call outs. So here we will do a TLC match. And I think that's more than enough there. Um, this should be good. Have at least one last man standing. Morale, plus one more, or plus morale to winner, minus morale to loser. Stamina cost goes up, low quality. Uh, stamina cost is low, quality boost is low. So it doesn't give you more of that. But I would get a veto card. And I would complete a thing, which I need to be doing. All right. Because I need to be completing these, I will do that. Demanding that she win her next match. I can't guarantee it. I don't have a... Uh, fixed match card. So we just hope that she wins. Or, well, title on, yes. About a run in. Is anyone there? No, she's a face. We're going to leave it. I was thinking, like, I could do a run in, and maybe that would. Uh, that would make her lose <laughs> or make the other one win. Uh, okay. We're good. Matches are laid out. We got card used. We did our power cards. We got our logistics, right? Yep. All right. Here we go, y'all. Really hoping this one does well. Otherwise, we got to kick the can to the next pay-per-view and then use all the improved matches cards. Okay. Let's go. Quinn B coming out with the title. Yeah! Look at that! Four stars, rivalry up to level three. Heath Manhattan at least not losing uh, any popularity. Silence and Buck. A classic. Oh no, it was better than the opener. Oh no. It's gonna ruin my whole arc. All right. Cool. We're cool with it. We're cool with it. Clubberella getting a little boost. This is the one match. Okay, that's fine. We'll take it. Boo, but still got an increase. So boo to you. Dewey taking it back. Nice. All right, y'all. Heck of a heck of a premium live event. Heck of a premium live event. All right, let's. Simulate the rest of this. Do 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 do. 
Oh yeah, poor opening, eat my farts, okay? Eat my farts, a 4.0 is not bad. I'm sorry that the next match outshadowed it, okay? Sometimes you end up with a triple threat IC match between Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Gunter, and it ends up being the best match on the show, okay? You don't know what's gonna happen. We kinda knew that was gonna happen, okay. 133,000 fans, lost a little bit of money. I better not have lost this show, though. Okay, I won the show by like 20K. It didn't put me ahead, but it did get me a little bit more. And it was a great show. So we're on our way. Our wrestlers should have gotten a big boost in their popularities and stuff. Do, do, do. I probably didn't fire anyone last time. They got lucky. Thanks for your work. Uh, make it happen. I'll make it happen. Okay, Sammy, your contract's up. Don't you worry. You're sticking around. Absolutely. Boom. Just brought in a physical trainer. They can boost the stamina of Pretty Ruthless and Quinn B. Um, Superstar to beat. I'll take it long enough for both of them. How long do they have to go on? A show. Yeah. Yeah. 30k to bring back Ruthless and B in their stamina. Absolutely. Because she was low too. Yep. Goodbye. No chance. I'm not giving you 100k. Get out of here. Yep. Bye. Bye. Look, Donna. I can't make you win. Okay. That is incumbent upon you. Okay. I can open the door. Okay. Cool. Ooh! All of your female superstars get plus three mic skill. Without question. Without question. Our women's division just went through the roof. That's huge. That's huge. Awesome. With out question bram are you kidding me let's look at our roster now let's organize by i don't think you can do it in here let's just go here self promo let's go with mike skill promo skill five 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 four five four 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 y'all is there anyone in our women's division no, four. Four is the lowest. We're about to have so many feuds just explode with this. That is great. That is great. Okay, we're on show six. We did one pay-per-view. We've got some momentum. Let's look at our popularities actually before. I wanna take a little break here. All right, 66, 63, 60, 52. I just want to show you all the main roster just to give you all an idea of what that's like. 56, uh, 62, 56, right? Our roster on par with kind of anybody we can hire, right? Like we're in that space now. It took us five weeks, one really great show, and now we're getting in there. Look at the star ratings. Look at the star ratings. Dewey Carter. Oh, you can't see him because he's below me. But Dewey Carter. Uh, four star now. He has a level four star rating. That's higher than like Finn Balor. That's as high as like Roman Reigns. Uh, Dewey Carter is like now a legitimate star. Sally Steamroller, three stars, legitimate star. Quinn B, three stars. Silence, three stars. Rock and roll, y'all. Okay. So. Got the promo thing. Incredible. All right. So, we're going to take a break here. I'm going to stop recording. I need to eat a little bit of my lunch. Um, so, we'll see. But, that's our first five weeks of the Jobbers Only uh, quest here in 2K23. I'll come up with a better name for it. Also, be thinking about your favorite tag team names for all of our different tag teams. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, write a comment, you know, 
saying how sorry you are to see Medical Bill go because his star shone bright, but only for a little bit. I said shone? It shined. His star shined bright, but only for a little bit. Just a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> so, YouTube, bye-bye. We'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.